Okay, for this segment of the All Pro Quality Garage Doors Quick Fix video series, I'm going to be going over disengaging and re-engaging your emergency release on the garage door opener. Now, for this particular working model, as you can see up here, this is a chain-driven machine. It has a two-piece trolley system. Now, this door is locked in the down position. We had a power outage recently in San Diego, and believe it or not, most people were able to get out of their garage. They just couldn't re-engage the trolley to get it going. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Re disengaging, very simple. Pull it down, pull it back, it's disengaged, door works manually. Now, this trolley here is disengaged. When I hit the remote control, the inner trolley up there is going to pass it up. It won't re-engage. This spring is stretched. That tells you that it's disengaged. When I want to connect it up, and typically you want to bring it about halfway up to reconnect it. It's easier to do it if your door will allow that. You take the rope, you pull it towards the door. Now that spring just shrank. That means when I lift the door up, it locks itself in, bang, you're ready to go. So let me go over that one more time. Disconnect, pull it back, bring it back down a little bit here, don't get away from me, hit the button, slides right through, stop it, I got to pull the rope forward, when you do that, now I can even hit the button and let it click in by itself, so two ways to do it, straight up, straight down, leaves it reconnected. Down, back, permanently disconnected. Down, forward, clicks into gear. You're up and running. So there you have it. This is on a chain driven uh, setup here. It's different for every type of machine. So let's take a minute and we'll go over all the rest of them, one at a time.